Welcome to Sunday School. Today's topic is Zacchaeus. This story is taken from Luke 19, 1 to 10. Let's begin lesson 56. Jesus was passing through Jericho when he saw a man named Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector who wanted to see Jesus as he passed by. Because he was a short man, he climbed a sycamore fig tree to see Jesus. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So Zacchaeus came down and welcomed Jesus into his home. The people watching began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Zacchaeus said to Jesus, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to Zacchaeus, Today salvation has come to this house, for the Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost. For additional details about this story, please read Luke 19, 1 to 10 in your Bible. Hello there and welcome to Question Time. Question 1. What was Zacchaeus' problem in the story? Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus, but he couldn't see Jesus in the crowd because he was a short man. Very good. Question two. Why were people upset that Jesus was going to eat at Zacchaeus' house? They were upset because Zacchaeus is a sinner and Jesus said to him, I must stay at your house today. You are absolutely right. Question three. What did Zacchaeus do as a result of meeting Jesus? He gave half of his possessions to the poor, and he promised never to cheat anybody out of anything again. He also promised to pay back four times the amount. Yes, you got it. Okay, question four goes to you. Yeah, you. Uh Uh-huh. Are you ready? Question 4. Why do you think Zacchaeus wanted to give back more than he needed to? Uh huh. Hmm. Brilliant. Can I get another? Uh huh. Yeah. Wow, you've been paying attention. Good job. May I have another? Excellent. All right now, let's have one more. Yes, yes, and yes. Did I say yes? (laughs) <laughs> All right, that wraps it up for our Q&A session. It's now time for games and activities. I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Bye, Mommy Pastor. Bye, Mommy Pastor. Bye, Mommy Pastor. Hello there. You are in the activity room. Here's your challenge. Unscramble the letters on Zacchaeus' coin to find a word that tells a way God shows love for us. 
Write the letters on the blank lines. Hint. It's something Zacchaeus experienced. You may begin now. Zacchaeus bought two goblets of water and a loaf of bread for breakfast. He paid 40 shekels. At lunchtime, he bought three goblets of water and two loaves of bread. Lunch cost him 65 shekels. How much did a goblet of water cost? How much did he pay for dinner? Let's review today's memory verse. Okay, let's remove some words. Time's up. Great job. Hello there. Let's see if you can remember some of the terms used in today's Bible story. If you recognize a term in today's story, pronounce it aloud. Let's begin. to bring the Word of God to life. Are you ready? Yes! Let's take a look at Matthew 28, 19 to 20. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. Say, Lord Jesus, teach me to love the way you love and grant me the courage to reach others for your kingdom. Father God, thank you for trusting me with this mission. Lord, when I don't feel equipped enough, remind me that you are always with me. Thank you, God for empowering me to make you known in my everyday, ordinary mission field. 
In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. There you have it. The Word of God comes to life in you. Go in love and obedience in Jesus' name. What was today's story about? find today's memory verse in the Bible. did you learn today? Anything else? Great job! What does today's memory verse mean to you? We are so proud of you, and you should be too. Yay! Coming. Hello, Miss Olaolu. Good day, Mommy Pasta. How have you been? I'm fine. How are you? Great. I'm good. Glad to know you're doing fine too. I dropped your mails in the mailbox already. I just had to stop by to say hello. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Guess whose birthday it is this week? Yes, you guessed right. Happy birthday. May you celebrate many glorious years to come in Jesus' name. Happy birthday! Alright children, that concludes our lesson for today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for teaching us today. Thank you for all the listening ears and hearts you touched. May your words continue to be engraved in our hearts. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, that is it for today. Now, don't forget to share this story with a friend. All right? Yeah. Okay, yes, I'll see you next week. Pastor.